Well, morning everyone. Um, it is day 16 today um, since my initial diagnosis and yesterday Hazel and I went to see my consultant after the PET scan and <clears throat> all of that good stuff. Lovely, lovely man. Um, just a really, really nice guy. Um, he's going to be the surgeon um, that will operate on my bowel. Um, and he was just brilliant, just a lovely man, um, right combination of confidence um, and kindness and uh, gentleness, which is good. Um, uh, and, and he was lovely, just explained everything around the surgery itself, um, which was great. Um, hoping to do it through keyhole surgery, um, which will mean I'm up and about quicker. Um, which is great. He did explain that um, I'm a big guy and that um, it might not be possible to continue a keyhole surgery. So he, he'll go in, have a look. Uh, and if not, um, then he'll have to uh, do open surgery, which basically means I'll have a big scar um, from my belly button up. Um, but as I explained to him, uh, my uh, sort of hopes for a modeling career uh, have long ended so um, a big scar won't matter and as I said to Hazel later um, it will just be a reminder of God's goodness to me um, in the future and, and as he said you know in six months time when you're cured um, uh, a big scar will be the last of your worries which again was encouraging um, he did talk um, a lot about that um, a cure rather than sort of just staying things off so that was all good he he said it was unlikely that I would need a, a stoma um, although he couldn't rule it out because you know until he's in there and he doesn't know what the situation will be like so there is a possibility you couldn't say it was zero possibility of me having a stoma but he did feel it was unlikely which is good news um, and that I will be in hospital for about five days after it's a major operation. So um, it could be as few as three days, but he did doubt it. It um, could be as many as 10, just depending on how things go. But he sort of suspected about five days and then up to four weeks um, recovery at home. Um, so um, that all seemed rather positive. Um, he did feel that chemo um, would be necessary afterwards, um, but not primarily because of the um, surgery, but because the results of the PET scan found spots on my lung, which they first thought was a cyst and weren't too concerned about it, but now he is concerned about it. Um, and they also found spots on my liver, which obviously is concerning. Um, he did say that they're very, very small um, at this point in time. And so he felt that chemo um, as a result of the surgery would be helpful because it will just blast everything. And his feeling was that those tiny spots that were there um, would just curl up and die. Um, so that was a bit of a shock. Uh, uh, Hazel was visibly shocked. Um, or I saw she was actually in, in the in the meeting, although afterwards she kind of said, oh, did, did you tell? So maybe a poker face was, wasn't quite as good as she thought it was. Um, you know, I can have, you can have operations on your liver and you can live without quite large portions of your liver so that may be something that they have to consider later but our prayer right now is that uh, the chemo comes and the chemo does its job um, and that that is something that just goes on as we were pulling out of the car park um, I felt it was a shock obviously but you know still felt okay still knew that peace of God and I just said to Hazel look for us right now the problem has just got much much bigger but for God nothing's changed he knew already what was going on in my body and and uh, yeah for us it's increased but but for him it's the same he's still good he's still faithful he's still trustworthy 
And even though for us, you know, like that, that problem has, has grown and it's, it's escalated, for him, it, it, remains, it remains the same. It's, it's just an evil that is opposing his good purposes for my life um, and for his glory. And, and so in, in real terms, for me, anyway, for me, nothing has changed. You know, I kind of feel like, well, two days before I was worshipping in our lounge, loving Jesus, feeling the peace of God. Um, and whilst I've now got more information and that information could be, you know, worrying, you know, the God I was meeting with on, on the day before knew already. And so I can put my, my trust in him. He is still good. He is still faithful. He is still trustworthy. He is still able to make a way where there, there is no way. He's still able to heal. He's still able to bring about his good plans and purposes, whatever they may be. And as a result, he is still worthy of my praise. He will always be worthy of my, my praise and, and adoration, whatever, you know, whatever the outcome. Um, and whether, as I've said before, my days are many or whether they're few, I will worship him. Um, I can't do I can't do anything else because his goodness is so, so good. Um, and that's where I find myself. Um, in some ways, you may find that shocking. I do a little bit um, <laughs> in as much as as I just I just know. I just know that he's good. Um, and I, I don't know what this the, the outcome will be. And it's been hard, you know, telling my parents, told them last night. And again, they're visibly, visibly shocked. But, you know, I've, I guess I've been able to walk this with Jesus. I've walked it every day, knowing that his presence is with me, the Prince of Peace, the peace that passes understanding. I'm, I'm walking there in his presence every day. And so every day, I guess I'm being energized by his presence and, and just knowing his incredible closeness in all of this. But for other people, it, it's just it's just moments of of shock and awe, I guess. Um, and so, you know, I recognize that and I feel I feel I, that makes me sad. That makes me more sad, to be honest, when I'm having to, to tell people and, and seeing the shock on their face so yeah um difficult day in some ways yesterday um but as i say god's good his peace was with me i slept okay went off to sleep no problem um last night which for those of you those of you that know me is unusual at the best of times but you know he he he's good um and and i trust him i trust him in the outcome i'll trust him in the outcome with my family um, with my healing, with whatever whatever it, the outcome is, I trust him. Um, so yeah, um, that's today, and uh, uh, I guess I'll be back again soon.